Crisco1123 wants to know, what are the best drills to teach young kids to become better at dribbling and to protect the ball? Coach Jesse Minshew with Get Handles, and in today's edition of On Court Answers, I'm going to show you the best drills to help kids get better ball handling and protect the basketball. When I watch a lot of kids handle the basketball, there's a lot of things that stand out to me that almost all kids need to work on. So throughout this video, I'm going to give you some different drills to help kids get better at these different elements and protect the basketball. So some of the main things are getting in a good wide low stance, having an active offhand, and just getting their control down over the basketball. Those are all the major keys that I notice with a lot of kids that they need to work on. So first drill we're going to do is you're going to need two cones, or you could even do this with a wall, but the basic idea for this is to work on getting that active offhand, protecting the basketball, getting the feet wide, so hitting on a lot of things we were talking about, and also working on that crossover to get some ball control, and also the crossover is a great way to protect the basketball if you got a defender trying to poke at the ball here, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to have the kid dribble. You want to touch this cone or the wall with the opposite hand and keep the basketball behind the foot here. And you also want to make sure the feet are lined up with the cones. So you want to set up the cones so they're at least a little bit more than shoulder width apart, maybe even up to two times shoulder width apart to work on them getting in that wide low stance. And by touching the cone or the wall in a low spot, that's going to force them to get that butt down and get low and get that active offhand. So you're just going to have them do this, dribble a couple times behind this leg, cross over, and then get behind this leg and repeat on the other side touching the cone. Just to work on getting this active offhand, having them tap the wall or the cone two to three times, just to get them in the habit of dribbling back here, crossing over, and having that active offhand and getting the butt low and the feet wide. A lot of key points we're going to hit on in this drill. Next drill is mainly focused on getting the kid next level ball control, just being more comfortable with the basketball in different areas around their body, maneuvering it with different hand positions. And again, you're just going to have the cones in front. Um, for this one, you will need cones. And again, about twice shoulder width apart. All they're going to do is you're going to have them dribble the basketball and do a figure eight around the cones. About four or five of these in one direction and then in the other direction, all with the same hand, okay? Just like that. Then of course, you'll want them to repeat on the other side. And as you'll notice, my hand positioning is changing right throughout this. Going all different hand positions around on the basketball while I'm moving around the cones. And then of course, when you do it the other direction, it works on those transitions of the hand positions in different directions, moving the basketball in different ways. So gonna be great for that, getting them again low in a wide stance and working on that ability to be comfortable with the basketball in all areas around their body. Last drill that we're gonna have them do stationary and then I got three for you that are more on the move because they gotta get that on the move handle down. Plus I'm gonna show you some ways to help them keep their dribble alive because one big issue I see with a lot of players at the young age is that they get scared or freaked out about a game situation and they pick up the basketball and now they're a sitting duck and they end up making a bad pass or throwing up a shot, right? Puts them in a really bad situation. So getting them out of that habit's gonna help. But First, we're going to take them next level with their ball control. So all for, we're going to do for this one is, again, keep your feet about squared to the cones, about twice shoulder width apart, dribbling in front, behind, behind the back. Now, I know for a lot of kids, this might be a little bit more advanced, right, especially younger kids. But I think it's important for them to start working on this to get it down. And you'll be surprised how quickly they're able to get it down if they put in the time. One thing I find with a lot of kids is they can't do a behind the back simply because they don't ever put the time in because their coach always thinks it's too advanced for them. The behind the back is a great way to protect the basketball while keeping your body squared to the basket so you still have your options to attack, dribble, shoot, right, all that. So all we're going to have them do though is dribble in front, behind, behind the back. Key tips I can give you is make sure again that they keep their feet in this position so they can get the habit of doing the behind the back here. A lot of times I see kids, they'll bring their feet in here and it's not quite as game specific. So have them keep their feet wide, give a good pop to the dribble, okay? The other thing I see kids do all the time is they'll kind of carry and put it across here and kind of drop it. Make sure they give it a good pop, slap the same side butt. I know it might sound funny to the kid, but it's gonna help make that dribble consistent, okay? So slap the butt, push the dribble into the ball or the ball into the ground hard. A lot of times I see kids again they'll kind of just drop it down and now they have to look for the basketball. If they give it a good pop they'll be able to get a good feel for where the basketball is going to end up consistently especially if they're slapping the butt. They won't need to look at the, the basketball after a while because they'll start getting a feel for where it's going to end up. Okay and at first if they have to look down that's fine. Okay then from there you know what they're going to do they're going to repeat back over here in front 
behind, behind the back. In front, behind, behind the back. Okay, and notice we're also working on that transition of going from that attack type dribble and pulling it back, which is gonna come in handy for the advance on the move drills we're gonna have them do. So front, behind, hard behind the back. Front, behind, hard behind the back. Just have them repeat this for a minute or two. This will get them a good feel for the basketball, a little bit more advanced ball control, and a whole bunch more. Next drills are gonna be more on the move to help them work on more of that on the move handle. And again, keep that drill alive when they get into tough situations and be able to create something out of it. But real quick, if you're digging the video so far, do me a huge favor, click that like button, leave me a comment down below, let me know if this is helping you out, and make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out. All right, next drill, you're gonna need about five, six cones. If you got more, even better. Basically, again, you're gonna want them about twice shoulder width apart from each of each other, okay? And just have them in a straight line. And this one's very simple, but it, it'll take them a little while to get it down, especially if you got them spaced like this, because they'll have to work on that ball control and footwork a little bit more. We're just gonna dribble, plant on this outside leg, cross over between the gap, dribble, plant on this outside leg, cross over between the gap, and just have them repeat this, okay? Just to get on that basic ball control, getting down the footwork a little bit more and getting down that more on the move type handle. And then in the next drill, we're gonna hit on some more types of things like I was saying before, to keep the dribble alive, to make sure when they get in those pressure situations, they don't pick up the basketball. Real quick though, if you're digging the video so far, make sure you click that top link in the description down below. That's a free workout. That'll really help them take their handle next level fast. They don't need a lot of space to do it and it'll give them that more extend type type of a handle. You'll see what I'm talking about when you grab the workout, but just click that link, pop in your email, and I'll send it to you instantly for free. All right, so this drill is gonna be great for developing their footwork, keeping the dribble alive in those pressure situations, and working on transitioning between different types of dribbles and just improve their all overall ball control and their speed and power on their dribble, so a lot. Basically, all we're gonna do with this is have them go to each cone and stop. Okay, so they're gonna start with like a regular dribble about shoulder height, hip height, somewhere in there. Now I know a lot of coaches always tell their players never to dribble at shoulder height, but if you watch the best ball handlers in the NBA, they do it up here quite frequently. So that's one thing I've been telling my players, like don't be afraid to dribble up here as long as you're in control of it, okay? So dribbling up about that height, coming to this cone, stopping and killing the dribble low, popping it high, stopping with the next foot. So we're working on stopping on a dime quick with each foot, exploding out, do a quick first step with each foot. A lot being developed by that, okay? And then we're just gonna continue down the line. So starting here, kill. Pop it back up high, kill. High, kill. High, kill, okay? Just working on that transition with the dribble heights, the different type of footwork, all that. And then of course, you'd have them come back up and repeat on the other side. So same thing with the right hand. High, kill. High, kill. High, kill. Okay. One thing you want them to look out for though is that they're not doing the kill dribble and having their hand come under to go up into that high dribble. I see kids do that all the time. Make sure they're giving it a good pop to get it back up high and they're putting some power behind it. One other thing they can focus on to take it next level is to try to eliminate any dribbles that are kind of in this area here, either up here or down here. Try to have them go direct from one to the other and eliminate those dribbles in between. That'll get their handle much more powerful, crisp, and quick. All right, and finally, working on that retreat dribble, something the kids definitely need to work on nowadays. Um, all we're gonna do for this, again, cones in the same spots, pretty much similar to the last drill we did, but instead of moving up one cone, we want them to move up two cones and then move back one. Up two, back one. Up two, back one. Focusing on getting their foot to that cone. So. Quick example would be having them go every time you'd want them to stop with the same foot. So we'd have, want them to come step, step here, right footing, stopping, retreating back to this cone, and then working our way back up to this cone. Retreating back to this cone, back one, right? Up two, back one. Up two, back one, okay? Having them work on that, again, getting that active offhand by touching the cones. Um, if they're shorter, a shorter cone will work perfect. And if they're not shorter, a, cor a shorter cone will still be perfect because that'll force them to get into that lower stance like we want them to do. Then you'd have them you know, do that two, three times and then come back up and repeat doing the other leg stopping though. So up two with the left leg stopping, focusing on keeping the basketball back by the side of the butt or behind it to protect it better, right? If we have it out here, it's not as protected. So we want it back here. Back one, up two. Back one, up two, okay? Repeat all the way down, and then we would have them do it on the other side, right? 
two, three times each side. Quick example on the right side. Up two, back one. Up two, back one. Up two, back one. Up two, back one. And then of course, I was stopping with the right foot every time that time. You do that two, three times, and then stopping with the other foot. So coming here, up two, back one. Up two, back one, okay? Other key point to focus on with this is being efficient with those dribbles. So trying to get back from this here to this cone in one quick dribble and then moving right back forward as quickly as possible, right? Not taking a long time to start moving again. So this drill is really gonna help them get more of that transition handle down, not picking up the dribble and getting caught and feeling like, you know, what am I gonna do now in another situation? They can't get the pass or a good shot off or, you know, they lose all their options to attack and shoot. So. This is gonna help a lot with all that. So all these drills are gonna really help kids work on those elements that I always see them have issues with. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out. They're all gonna help you or your kid get a lot better. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you click the top link in the description down below, grab that free workout, pop in your email there, and I'll send it to you instantly for free. And check out this video and this playlist. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and make moves today.